Scores on an IQ test are normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. We're asked to find the IQ score that corresponds to each of the following z-scores. So here we're given z-values and we're asked to work backward from them to the data values. Again, remember though that a z-score is simply a given data value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Here we're given a z-score, the mean, and the standard deviation, and asked to solve for the data value. For the first one, for example, we know that z is negative 1.5. The data value is the unknown part that we're going to find. So the z-score is x minus the mean, 100, divided by the standard deviation of 15. Now to solve for x, I'm going to multiply both sides by 15, and we find that negative 22.5 equals x minus 100. Then add 100 to both sides to get x equals 77.5. So a z-score of negative 1.5 corresponds to an IQ score of 77.5. For part b, we do the same process. The z-score equals the data value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So we multiply both sides by 15 and find that 30.75 equals x minus 100. And then adding 100 to both sides, x equals 130.75. So a z-score of 2.05, or just over two standard deviations above the mean, corresponds to an IQ score of around 130.